Hello students, in our previous video, we have discussed about the application of A plus B plus C whole square. The first application that we have discussed was A minus B plus C whole square. Now today students, we are going to discuss the second application that is A plus B minus C whole square using A plus B plus C whole square. So we are going to discuss some examples based on this topic. The first example that we are going to discuss is x plus y minus z whole square. So first of all, we are going to change this statement also in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. So for that, we are going to rewrite the statement as x plus y plus minus z whole square. So now this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 bracket a b plus b c plus c a bracket close. Now here a is represented with x b is represented with y and c is represented with minus z. So on substituting a as x, b as y and c as minus z, we get x whole square plus y whole square plus minus z whole square plus 2 into x into y plus y into minus z plus minus z into x. So the square of x is x square. The square of y is y square. The square of minus z is z square plus 2 bracket x y minus y z minus z x and our final step is that we are going to multiply this two with all the terms which are inside the bracket so on multiplying we are going to get a final answer which is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2zx. So now we are going to discuss one more example based on this type only for a better understanding. The next example that we are going to discuss is a plus b minus 2c whole square. So again, we are going to rewrite this statement as a plus b plus bracket minus 2c whole square. So now again, this is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square, which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into a b plus b c plus c a. So on substituting a as a, b as b and c as minus 2 c, we get a whole square plus b whole square plus bracket minus 2 c whole square plus 2 into a into b plus b into minus 2 c 
plus minus 2c into a. So we get a square plus b square and the square of minus 2c is 4c square plus 2 into ab minus 2bc minus 2ca. So students, for getting a final answer, we are going to multiply the two outside the bracket with all the three terms which are inside the bracket, which gives us the final answer as a square plus b square plus 4c square plus 2ab minus 4bc minus 4ca. So my dear students, you all will be cleared with the topic of a plus b minus c whole square. So now in your SNAP homework, you have got a worksheet based on this topic. Solve that worksheet. Till then, have a good day. Thank you.